Okay, I first heard about it. I met Nolan Shadforth in 1998. He was 48 then. And um, he was, we, we were in a relationship. He was telling me about what he'd done with the APB, what had happened, um, what, how he was. And I, he was telling me stories about how they were washing their dishes in the river. With, um, with, the, with the obviously, you could see the chemicals sparkling on the top of the water. And he said that they were washing their dishes and their clothes in this water the whole time. Yeah. Um, there was no protection. There was nothing. And they lived, slept it, breathed it, in, ingested it. And that explains a lot why he is the way he is. I've known Nolan for 20 years. We've been together for about four or three or four of those years. We have, a, we have an adult daughter. I've noticed over the years that Nolan has had this skin condition as well that um, terrorised him most of the time. He was in a continual itch, whether he was asleep, awake. Whatever he was doing, he was continually hacking at himself. Um, I found it very distressing to watch and he couldn't help himself at all. Um, that, was, that was going on when I met him, still going on now. Now he doesn't re hardly remembers who I am. I can sit here and talk about Nolan Chadforce and he can't talk about me because he doesn't remember me. Very little. He knows who his daughters are, his children are. But when, I, when I'm with them, it's, um, he has to think hard. I'm pretty sure he doesn't remember me. Which is, which is sad because we, we've got a family together. I've known him for 20 years and he shouldn't be the way that he is. He can't remember me. He's in, he's in care now. Uh, he can't look after himself. He can't use his hands. He's a musician. He can't use his hands. He can't use his, can't function much at all really. He's in a wheelchair. He's going blind. Uh, barely just remembers his children, I'd say. So it, it's really difficult for me to watch that and it's very difficult for his children. He's got adult children, he's got adult grandchildren. I, I, I want the government to own this. They need to do something about it, they need to own it. Because, it's, I'm, like I'm a very young woman, I'm a lot older than the people that actually lived through this and they, they need answers. I want the mothers, I want the wives to have the answers that they need for their families. And for goodness sakes, it's affected some of these women so drastically. I mean, I'm so lucky. I didn't handle it. I don't know what, what these women are going through, their own, medical, their own medical issues. You know, I can see it happening to my children. And, I, and the government needs to own it and do something about it. Rose, come here, come and sit down here, Bob. Come and sit down. This is Rosemary, mine and Nolan's daughter. This is our grandson, Traquan. And, um, well, Rosemary's had um, skin issues. As a child, she's got health issues. We're not sure where it's come from, but the skin issue is a major concern. Now, we've got young Trey, who's got um, issues with his skin and uh, we don't know what's going on there. The doctors haven't really said what it is. But Rosemary's been treated in her life for skin problems, that um, mysterious skin problems that doctors have never really told me what they are. So I've really never had any answers to that. And now we're just finding out that Bubba's got skin problems as well. Well, I think it's affected my whole family because of my dad actually being in that position and then ha having to have kids, you know, and it could have been in his system and it could have you know, been brought on for, to us kids. Like, you know, all my other siblings are older, much older than me, so they would have been born during the time and before that. So I don't know if I, I would have get, get affected from it because I was born later after he, he fin finished working with it. So, yeah, I don't really know if it's affecting me, but it's, by the sound of it, from all these symptoms that are coming up, I hope, I am, I hope I'm not. Yeah. But there's a good chance that I would be. Because I was made after he was working with it and when he was affected by it after.
they really need to take responsibilities for what they made people do and what they put people through and how the positions that people are in now. They need to have a little bit of consideration because they're not in that position. They wouldn't know what it feels like to become practically crippled when you're old, you know. And people bef before they turn 60, they're like this. And you know, 50, halfway to 60 is, that's the, you know, not old. 70, 80, 90, that's old. But people who are that young and want to, you know, do things for their kids, especially for me, it's hard because my dad wasn't young when I was born. And I can't really have the chance to, for him to do things for me because he's like that, you know. So it's a bit hard. Yeah. So I just want the government to show some consideration for people who have to suffer. Yeah. I feel like they didn't want to give the people a chance to have a life that they could have, you know, not being around that stuff could have made their life a lot easier and so much better than it, what it is now. I mean, I have a lot of brothers that worked with my dad and they've they all died, you know. And I've got a brother that's sick and I can't even recognise him and that breaks my heart, you know. And to see them go downhill so quick, and it hurts me, you know, because I know I'm the youngest of the whole family. I'm probably going to be the last one standing.